Another alleged victim of Vacaville's Dr. David Webb coming forward. This woman telling KCRA 3 she originally saw Webb at his now shuttered office, Northern California Facial and Oral Surgery, to get dermal fillers. He did a very good job for my fillers, so I continued to go back to him. Returning for several facial filler services between 2019 and 2021. He was very comfortable with being um, overly friendly and a little bit flirty, made me feel special, like I was his favorite patient. But then documents submitted to the court show the patient started feeling uncomfortable with his emotionally manipulative comments, leaning his crotch area along her arm and other actions. More than one time, he was really happy with the outcome and he would do a fist pump and a pelvic thrust. And I thought, well, I guess that's just him. Eventually, in need of a tooth extraction, the woman says she tried to brush off her unease with his behavior, getting the procedure done at his office since she was already a patient there. I remember going into the fogginess of the anesthesia and feeling a little bit loopy, but I also remember him touching and fondling my breast, uh, paying a lot of attention to it for a long period of time, manipulating it. And I thought, why is he doing that? She says the doctor told her her lungs sounded unclear. And after that, she slipped under anesthesia, remembering what she says happened to her in the hours following her procedure. And I was like, oh my God, that happened to me. Oh my God, that happened to me. A light bulb going off when she stumbled upon news reports of the numerous criminal cases against Webb. I sank because... There was confirmation that it did happen. And so there was a lot of um, shame and guilt that, why would I think this, I was the only one. Now she's among several other alleged victims who've come forward filing civil complaints against him. I think when you have, you know, eight, nine women all saying this happened to me, their stories are very similar. Their experiences are really similar. Uh, I think it just, it shows that this is a pattern of conduct. Attorney Amber Eck representing this victim. For her, it's really important, not just for herself, but to protect other women who you know, Dr. Webb assaulted and to prevent him from assaulting other women in the future. Sharing her story for the victims who've already come forward to hear. I felt compelled that and my responsibility to validate what these other women had spoken out about, that it was real. And for those who may still be out there. I think that we need to, to give it a voice and, um, you know, speak loudly for the victims that have already been traumatized by this, and they probably will for the rest of their lives. Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. We reached out to defense attorneys representing Webb in the civil cases for comment on our story, and they tell us they do not make public comments about cases they're handling for clients. The civil cases are set to be back in court in the fall, and there is another hearing for the criminal complaints against Webb set for the end of this month.